Hi everyone! So September is the season for fall scented candles, pumpkin spice lattes, and very cozy sweaters. But one of the easiest ways of updating our home decor is to just switch out our throw pillows. Now, being a huge fan of Harry Potter and Halloween, I decided we were going to take some inspiration from Hogwarts Potions classrooms and make some potions inspired pillowcases. So to make these pillows, I actually found a solution called Bubble Jet Set 2000 and it allows you to print directly onto fabric and it makes it permanent. So you're going to grab some of that, you're going to give it a shake and you're going to pour that into a container with your 100% cotton fabric. You're going to give that a little bit of a soak and just make sure it's all absorbed into that fabric and then you're going to let that sit for about five minutes. Then you are going to grab a drying rack. I actually just grabbed an old baking tray and you're going to pull that fabric out. Make sure it's kind of dripped out so you aren't wasting any of that solution and then you're going to hang that over the tray to dry. Then you're basically going to repeat until you've got all the fabric that you're going to want to use. Now for my cotton fabric, I actually grabbed cheap cotton napkins from just Kmart. Um, so I ended up trimming off the edge just so it wasn't going to get stuck through the printer. Then you're going to grab some freezer paper. If you're in Australia, you are going to want to find the stuff online. I'll pop some links below. And you're going to iron that onto your fabric, the shiny side down. So as you can see, I've got two different sheets next to it because I'm printing on an A3 printer to make sure I've got a big enough pillowcase. Now I would suggest before you start with your actual final piece, grab some scraps of fabric, the same stuff that you're going to use. Just run it through the printer so you can actually see what the result is going to look like. Once you know you're going to be happy with that, then you can actually move on with actually getting your finals printed. So to make sure that the fabric doesn't catch, you're going to make sure your fabric paper is being fed through the rear tray of your printer. That way there's no twisting or turning the paper has to do, it just comes straight out. Now I tried a few different sizes, uh, but the one that I really wanted to see how we could make work was the biggest size. So it was probably about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters once I cut off the edge of the napkin. I was able, as I said, to take two freezer papers and attach it. And then what I did was I folded over the edges, gave that a little bit of an iron, and then just used some duct tape just to hold those edges down so they weren't going to catch on the printer. Once you have all your fabric printed, you are going to want to set that aside for about 30 minutes, just so it has time just to, I guess, soak in and just set. Anyways, that's what the instructions recommended. Then 30 minutes later, you are going to grab a container of cold water and bubble jet rinse. You're gonna pour in two, maybe three capfuls of this stuff, give that a bit of a swish around, and then you're just going to rinse out your printed fabric, um, but you don't want to let it soak, so you just want to keep that fabric moving, just keep swishing it around, make sure you the timer and then once that's all done you can pull that fabric out again don't wring it out you just want it to drip dry you're going to lay that flat on a tea towel once that's dry you're going to lay out your fabric on top of a second fabric slash cotton napkin in my case now I laid a tea towel over it and just ironed it out so it was nice and crisp because now we're going to sew this all together. So you are going to want to make sure that for the first part your print is facing inwards to the other sheet of fabric. It's just gonna make your edges look nice and neat when you sew these. Now in this case, what I ended up doing was I sewed three edges and then flipped it around. Then I folded in the bottom edge and just ironed it. And you're gonna iron that so that's really nice and crisp, which is gonna make it so much easier when you sew that shut in the end. Then you're gonna grab either your pillow or some stuffing and you're gonna slide that into that pillow. So this is one option. The one thing you will want to do for all of these is take a little bit of extra stuffing and just press it into the corners and that's how they end up getting those really nice sharp corners in photos. Then you're going to grab that pillow and just sew it shut. Now if you're using loose stuffing, um, you can sew almost all four sides shut but you are going to want to leave a gap so you can flip that fabric back out and also that way you've got a space to push all that stuffing back into that pillow. Once that's all fluffed up and filled, then you can sew that little bit shut. Just folding those edges in and just doing a neat little sew job. And with that, you have your own Harry Potter inspired potion label pillowcases, which are everything you need for your Harry Potter home decor this season. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys in the next video.